Motorola makes all the right upgrades in this 2024 edition of its foldable clip phone, including longer battery life, better cameras, and new external screen functionality. You also get double the brightness on the main display, but some AI features aren't coming until later. The upcoming Galaxy Z Flip 6 faces a tough competitor. One thing that warrants praise is that Moto has kept the price of the Rezo Plus 2024 unchanged at US$999, giving it a competitive edge against other flippables expected to release later this year. At this price range, the Rezo Plus gives people a compelling reason to choose a foldable over a standard flagship slate. In the US, pre-orders for the Motorola Razr Plus 24 are available right now through T-Mobile, AT&T, Best Buy, Amazon, and Motorola directly, with general availability set for July 24. I thought we'd get more carriers on board with the Razr Plus 2024 than before, but it could be just a matter of time before it shows up on major carriers like Verizon and AT&T. It's worth mentioning that there is only a single storage option available, but at least it's a generous 256GB of UFS 4.0 storage paired with 12GB LPDDR5X RAM. For the price, I think this is pretty fair given how there are still other flagship phones that still come with a base storage of 128GB. In Australia, the phone will go by the name Motorola Razr 50 Ultra. It's available for pre-order now until July 16 at JB Hi-Fi, Harvey Norman, Officeworks, The Good Guys, Mobile City, Amazon, and Motorola's online store. I have been asking for telephoto cameras in more flip phones and while the Razer Plus 2024 makes this a reality, it requires a compromise. On one hand, I am stoked that the main camera has been upgraded to a beefier 50 megapixel sensor, but Motorola ditches the ultra wide camera in favor of a 50 megapixel telephoto camera with 2x optical zoom. So, what's the big deal? Well, I really found the ultra wide camera of last year's Razer Plus handy for blogging and self recording because of its wider field of view and its omission to noticeable because the main camera's field of view is narrow. As a result, only my upper torso is visible when I'm blogging, and it's nowhere as good when it comes to getting another person in the shot with me. I think omitting the ultra-wide camera is a missed opportunity because the Razer Plus 2024 would have made for a more compelling arrangement if Moto kept it and leveraged pixel binding with the main camera to deliver a 2x optical quality zoom. In theory, it would deliver the same package as the triple camera system we get in many flagship phones. Despite that, the camera app gets its share of changes as well including a new camcorder that can shoot vertical or horizontal videos while in this mode. Another change pertains to Photobooth which now works on both the internal and external cameras. Here are some camera samples of Motorola Razr Plus 2024. Even though I wish the phone was launching with its suit of Moto AI features, I still think that the Motorola Razr Plus 2024 is in a good position because of all the iterative improvements found throughout. It maintains the same stylish looks that has made the Razr one of the most attractive foldable phones around, while adding a bigger outer screen, much longer battery life, faster charging and camera performance improvements. What I like even more is the fact that the Razr Plus price remains unchanged at US$999, which should give Samsung and everyone else something to worry about. The only disappointment I have is Motorola choosing to ditch the ultra-wide camera in favor of a dedicated telephoto lens, more so when the main camera's full resolution snapshots rival the quality of the optical zoom lens. Apart from that, the Razr Plus 2024 is a delightful flip for level that's worth a look without much compromise in its package.